Okay, so welcome back. We're going to be uh, actually getting this uh, email activation working now. So let's uh, we've we've used our mail test up PHP. We don't want that anymore. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually delete that. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new field in my database. Now, if I click on users, you can see this uh, username Billy that I registered a moment ago. Uh, I'm going to click on the structure tab and this is going to allow me to add a new column uh, so I'm going to add it after email click go and the column is going to be email code now this is going to be an MD5 hash um, so as we're doing with passwords but it's going to, so it's going to be 32 characters uh, and a varchar data type so let's go ahead and save that so we've now got this email code field here if I browse at the moment this is empty which is what we'd expect because we uh, still need to generate this and place it in. I'm going to go ahead and delete this user because obviously um, we've already gone through the registration process before we've added this functionality. So um, what do we need to modify? Well let's go ahead and get rid of login.php we don't actually need to do anything with that. Uh, in register.php down here remember we're sending uh, this array of data so the username, the password, the first name to be put into the into the database. Now what we need to do is we need to add another data, a piece of data here and that is going to be this um, this email code that we uh, pass through to an email and, and uh, allow the user to activate. And obviously the reason we pass this code through is because otherwise the user would just be able to you know, type in their email address into a URL bar and it would essentially uh, register their account. We need some unique field uh, or something or unique piece of data so um, let's go ahead and do this so I'm just gonna pass a new piece of data called email code and what th what's this gonna be well I'm gonna wrap every anything that I send here in the MD5 function and it's going to be the username plus microtime now what that will do is it will uh, take the username it will append it to microtime, so the current time in milliseconds, or I, I can't exactly remember. Go and go ahead and look it up in the um, in the PHP uh, manual. You could, of course, use date, which would uh, return the current timestamp. Uh, but either way, doesn't matter as long as something is unique enough. Um, and then it will encrypt it. It will, you know, uh, hash it essentially uh, to an MD5 string or hash. So let's go ahead and actually register a user account with this and see what happens. So we've got nothing in the users table at the moment. I've deleted all of the users. So let's go ahead and register. I'll just go ahead and say Billy password will just be password. Password again will just be password, obviously. Say Billy Garrett. Oops. And we'll go ahead and put Billy at phpacademy.org in. Click register, registered successfully click on the users table and you'll now see we've got this email code here okay so that's the result of what we've just done and that's placed that in there um, using the function that we created earlier I won't go back too much into that and waste any time um, so we've uh, stored this unique email code what do we want to do well obviously upon registering this user under the register user function that we created let's just go over to that now that's here so below here we need to send an email to the user um, containing the code uh, appended to a URL that they can just click on. Um, so obviously I'm working locally so I can't click through an email onto localhost, well I can but I'm gonna, uh, you'll see my mail client format it odd so we'll have to copy and paste it anyway. But the point is here we want to send the email. Uh, so depending on how many emails we're going to be sending out I'm going to go ahead and create a separate email function that's essentially going to um, use the mail function within it but it's going to include the header every time if that doesn't make sense you'll see in a moment so in general.php I need to create a function that's going to essentially send an email now we've already seen that mail is very simple but I'm going to simplify this uh, even more the reason being is that if I ever wanted to add any more functionality to sending email I could just go ahead and pop it right into this function so the uh, email is going to take three parameters, two, subject, and body. And inside we're going to have a static header. So we're going to use the mail function as it's intended. So we're going to pass through two, subject, 
body and we're going to keep the headers the same uh, every time so I'll say hello at phpacademy.org oops so um, really we're just shortening this but again like I said if we wanted to add any more functionality to this email function later on then and, we, and if we're using it across our site it'll be a lot easier so inside register, uh, sorry, inside users.php in the register user function, we want to use this email function that we've just created. Now, who do we want to send the email to? Now, remember, we're uh, passing this register data um, uh, array, so we can access the email. Okay, so um, here we want to send it to register data email. The subject we want to be activate your account. Now notice here I'm going to place the body in double quotation marks as opposed to singles. And the reason being is that we're going to be using the backslash n um, uh, ca escape character which will essentially, um, not escape character, but it will uh, format a new line. Uh, and then that's it. Uh, so this will be the body. So let's just pull this down for now and then we'll put it all in one line in a moment because you'll see that using this will automatically uh, create line breaks for however many... Um, line breaks you do within your editor. So what do we want to do? Well we want to say hello x, x is just going to be the user's first name. Um, you need to activate your account so use the link below. Uh, obviously you would write something a lot nicer than this. Uh, we would then go, well we'd go down in a couple more lines, the link would be here and then we'd just say at the end like PHP Academy or something like that so from your company. Okay, so hello something. Uh, who's this going to be? Well, let's go ahead and just break out of these um, of this uh, these double quotes. Uh, if you look at it on one line, it makes more sense. So we have this string here. We concatenate on register user first name. So we're concatenating that on. Um, and let's let I tell you what. Let's just do it on one line. It just um, is going to make a lot more sense with breaking out of these um, of this string. So hello, um, first name, blah blah blah. The link goes up here. There we go. So it's going to look a little messy, but um, you know that's that's uh, that's just to be dealt with. Um, okay, so hello something. We need two line breaks here, so we're essentially creating a new paragraph. You need to activate your account, so use the link below. Two more line breaks, so two more returns. The link goes here. Now what's the link going to be? Uh, in fact, we'll just do two more line breaks there. So the link here is going to be http colon forward slash forward slash yourwebsite.com forward slash and we're going to be creating a new page in a moment called activate.php. So in my case, it's localhost, oops, localhost forward slash lr because um, that's the directory directory that we're working in here LR and that's going to be forward slash activate.php now we need to pass some um, values to this URL um, and the, we can pick these up using the uh, the get um, array of data so we need to send the email so the email equals X and email underscore code equals X so where these X's are, we need to replace in the user's email address. So end string concatenate on register data email. And email code equals, so again concatenate on register data. Now remember we've just added this, so let's go back and just refer to it anyway. Uh, email underscore code. So we can now go ahead and say email underscore code and then a couple of line breaks and then our signing off so let's just go ahead oops just go ahead and pull this back up there perfect so now this will send an email to uh, the user's email address who they're registering with uh, or the email that they're registering with uh, with this subject and this body which we've just done so let's go ahead and uh, delete this user account and actually um, register once again. Now I'm logged in here, hopefully still logged in, no session expired, um, as billy at phpacademy.org. So I'm going to register with this email address and hopefully it will send this over to me if I haven't made any mistakes. 
So I type in my username and password that I want, uh, my first name, my last name, and my email address. I click register. You've been registered successfully. Uh, go and check my email. And there we go. So we'll read that in just a moment, but obviously we need uh, some kind of message here just quickly um, to alert the user that they need to activate their account. So let's go down and where are we? Uh, the success part of this is, is, where is it? There we go. You've been registered successfully. Uh, please check your email to activate your account. Okay. So the success uh, message now looks like this. So please check your email, blah, blah, blah. We go over, we click on this, and there we go. So this looks a bit funny, just the way my uh, my mail client, uh, Roundcube, uh, formats this. Uh, but hello, um, and we're missing the first name, and we've got some extra spaces here that we don't want. So we'll tidy this up in just a moment. But you can see here that this has placed the email address in here successfully. And it's also placed this email code. Now it's important that obviously this matches what we have in our database. So this starts with a D1 and ends with a DA. So let's just check that. And there we go. We've got a D1 and a DA. So now we can pass these through to a script and check that the email matches the email code and then set active to 1. Relatively straightforward. Okay, so let's just go and clear this up with regards to the addressing the user in these extra spaces. And then we'll go ahead and paste this, um, paste this in. Okay, so um, we're sending it to that email, that works. We're saying, hello, register user. Ah, there we go. Register data, that needs to be. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you spotted that. Uh, we've got an extra space there. We also had an extra space just there. So let's go ahead and uh, delete this. Let's go ahead and register again, just to make sure it's worked. I know this is a bit tedious, but see, uh, we don't want to leave ourselves with any problems. So again, we just register with all the same data. I've had it a million times before. Click register and blah, blah, blah. Over to our email inbox. There we go. This time, hello, Billy. That's fine. No extra spaces. Perfect. So now we can continue. Well, we've got one on there, but I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm sure you'll be able to sort that out. So we've got our new email code. Remember, we are concatenating the username and the current time, and then you know that's going to be different every time because the current time changes. So that's this is how this you this code is unique. So let's go ahead and just um, copy this and paste it into our browser window. Uh, the user would basically click on this or copy and paste it the same. So let's duplicate this window, paste that in there, and press enter. Object not found, we haven't created our activate.php um, page yet, but we're going to be doing that. So we'll go ahead and we will create this uh, in the next part of the video.